Various factors lead to our overall height throughout adolescence, such as genetic factors, our environment, exercise, and nutrition. Do you feel like you're too short for your height, or do you feel insecure about the tall people your age? If your answer is yes, this video is exactly for you. In today's video, we will be discussing how to grow taller at any age. There are some lucky people who gain height according to heredity, but don't be sad. There's still a way to grow taller. Keep on watching to learn more. Is height determined by genetics? Scientists estimate that about 80% of an individual's height is determined by the DNA sequence variants they have inherited. But which genes these variants are in and what they do to affect height are only partially understood. Some rare gene mutations have dramatic effects on height. For example, variants in the FGFR3 gene cause achondroplasia, a rare condition characterized by short stature. For most individuals, though, height is controlled largely by a combination of genetic variants that each has more modest effects on height, plus a smaller contribution from environmental factors such as nutrition. More than 700 such gene variants have been discovered and many more are expected to be identified. Some of these variants are in genes that directly or indirectly affect the cartilage and growth plates, which are areas in the long bones of the legs and arms where new bone is produced, lengthening the bones as children grow. Because height is determined by multiple gene variants, an inheritance pattern called polygenic inheritance, it is difficult to accurately predict how tall a child will be. The inheritance of these variants from one parent helps explain why children usually grow to be approximately as tall as their parents. But different combinations of variants can cause siblings to be of different heights. Height is influenced by other biological mechanisms such as hormones that may also be determined by genetics although the roles of these mechanisms are not fully understood. In addition to genetic and biological determinants, height is also influenced by environmental factors, including the nutritional status of the mother during pregnancy, whether she smoked, and her exposure to hazardous substances. A well-nourished, healthy, and active child is likely to be taller as an adult than will be a child with a poor diet, infectious diseases, or inadequate health care. Socioeconomic factors such as income, education, and occupation can also influence height. In some cases, ethnicity plays a role in adult height, but studies on immigrant families have shown that moving to a country with better access to nutritious food, healthcare, and employment opportunities can have a substantial influence on the height of the next generation. This suggests that some differences in height between ethnicities are explained by non-genetic factors. Before we continue, a like would be great. How to grow taller at any age, 100% possible. Number 1. Get enough sleep Naturally sleeping better at night is absolutely essential for so many different reasons. But for this article's purpose, we'll stick specifically to its importance regarding growth. When you're still growing, you need to be getting between 8 to 11 hours of sleep per night to maximize your height potential. This may sound like a ton of hours, especially compared to the older population that has a lot more responsibilities, but that just goes to show the importance of sleep as you grow. While you are asleep, your body is growing and regenerating tissue. Also, your body naturally produces human growth hormone or HGH in deep slow wave sleep. The more HGH you can naturally create in your body, the more growth you'll generate. Of course, one bad night of sleeping isn't going to stunt your growth. But it has been proven that getting too little sleep consistently suppresses growth hormone. Also, if you're not getting enough sleep, your recovery from exercise is suboptimal. Healthy muscles and bones are crucial as you grow. Without proper sleep, your cells won't properly reproduce and regenerate. Number 2. Eat a balanced diet Nutrition is incredibly important for growth and to grow taller. Protein, vitamins, and minerals specifically are absolutely essential in order to reach maximum height growth. On the other hand, carbonated drinks, excessive sugar intake, and excessive saturated fat can actually be detrimental to your growth patterns. You want to have an overall balanced diet to ensure you get all your needed macros and micros to feed and fuel your bodies while growing. It's actually shown that cleaner diets result in less body fat storage and increased height. Also, the release of growth hormone is triggered by protein and vitamin D, so consuming foods rich in protein and vitamin D contributes to more growth hormone, which brings about proper bone and muscle growth. Another important consideration is the mineral zinc. 
A zinc deficiency has been proven to stunt growth. Therefore, to combat a zinc deficiency, eat plenty of legumes, seeds, and nuts which are all high in zinc. In order to grow, your bodies need to fuel the process. Each nutrient has properties that play a role in contributing to the proper optimal growth of your body. All in all, get your calories in, especially during growth spurts where your body is using more energy. Most importantly, make sure those calories are nutrient dense and well balanced. Number 3. Exercise More Being physically active is one of the best ways to naturally increase height. There is a direct correlation between bone and muscle development and physical activity while we're growing. When you increase activity, your body demands more nutrients. This increased nutrient demand allows the increase of your nutrient intake, which results in more growth. Also, physical activity can complement the spine, aiding in more optimal height development. Therefore, being active and playing sports while growing up is vital to your body's development. In addition, working out naturally stimulates growth hormones. Resistance training specifically releases the greatest amount of growth hormone in the body. Due to this increase in growth hormone, you will lengthen your muscles, add more mass to them, increase bone density, and spur more growth. Overall, exercise in general is a great natural way to grow taller. It will increase nutrient demand, increase HGH production, aid in bone and muscle development, and maximize your height. Number 4. Maintain Good Posture Straightening the spine and strengthening the back play significant roles in height growth. Your spine contributes around 80% of your height. Fortunately, posture is something that for the majority of people is actually in your control. Ideally, you want to align the neck and head without bending or slouching. You also want to keep your shoulders upright while walking and standing. Posture is an essential principle that should be emphasized while you grow. There are certain exercises, stretches, yoga routines, and other methods to help correct or improve posture. In specific, hanging exercises are a great way to improve your posture, as they decompress the spine. However, they will not make you taller. As you know, you can't trump your genetics. Instead, place an emphasis on standing and sitting up straight as while lying down straight. That can actually make a huge difference. Proper alignment will allow your body to grow and develop more optimally, which will increase your likelihood of reaching your full height potential. Number 5. Boost Your Melatonin Levels Melatonin is a natural hormone made in the brain which helps to regulate sleep cycles. Melatonin not only aids in sleep, but it also boosts natural HGH levels. So by optimizing melatonin levels, you'll sleep deeper and increase the amount of growth hormone in your body. You can eat foods that naturally increase melatonin like pineapples, oranges, and bananas. If you were to try supplemental melatonin, you don't need a ton of it. Melatonin is a natural hormone that, if optimized, can induce deeper sleep and increase HGH, which are both significant factors in achieving melatonin height growth. So, how tall can we get? It is likely that there is a maximum physiological height that we can reach, over which our heart would not be able to pump blood around the body effectively. It has been postulated that the limit might be around 2.7 meters, which is the height of the tallest person ever. Global average height has increased steadily over hundreds of years, but plateaued around 30 years ago, does this mean we have reached our maximum height? It is reasonable to assume that there is an upper limit to average height, at which nutritional and health factors are optimal, but it has also been hypothesized that recent lifestyle changes may be hindering further changes in the average height of humans. So, additional factors influencing height could include changes in healthcare, nutrition, and socioeconomic status. Could height have reached its limit? Only time can actually tell. What is your goal height? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out, both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.